Ted Skelton Show with guest star Raymond Burr. Barbara Anderson. David Rose and his orchestra. And Freddie the Freeloader. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Skelton. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A lovely crowd here in the studio tonight. It seems bigger than usual, audiences. I guess everything's increasing now, the population, and most of all, crime, crime. It, it, if it's true, the FBI is going to, they say that it's increased 5% in the last year. If it keeps up, they're gonna to have to do two shows a week. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know, the kids in Beverly Hills, they're a little bit different. They do so well over there that they stick you up and force you to take money from them. <laughs> hey, I gotta tell you about this, uh, the this award this year was given to a burglar, a guy that robbed Zsa Zsa Gabor. So he went right into her hotel room and he says to Zsa Zsa, he says, lay down on the floor and keep your mouth shut. Well, they're doing the story of his life on Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, a lot of the former hoodlums have gone into legitimate business, but some of the former gangsters, uh, they've set up offices on Wall Street, you know. Now listen carefully. Now the bank is on the corner of 5th and 9th Street. Now there's a candy store on the corner across from the car boys. Now there's an awful lot of heavy traffic on there and behind the bank is an alley. Do you get the picture? Yeah, boss. When do we rob it? Look, dummy, we're not going to rob it. We're going to buy it. Then we're going to rob it. <laughs> Even among the birds and bees, Gertrude and Heathcliff, two seagulls, are talking. I said, did you hear the horrible thing that happened to my cousin, Polly the parrot? She said, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> laugh a lot now, because I don't think the finish is too big. <laughs> I didn't hear what happened to your cousin Polly the parrot. Says, well, she asked for a plain cracker and she got assaulted. <laughs> seagulls, two seagulls, Gertrude and Heathcliff. He says, um, did you hear what happened to old Charlie? Charlie the, the, the goose? No, he says, no, what happened? He says, the wild goose came along and stole his wife. He says, no. He said, now every time you hear that honking flying over, old Charlie just sits and hides. He says, really depressed. I says, no, he thinks he's bringing her back. <laughs> you know, speaking of crimes, speaking of crimes, the greatest criminals and the greatest thieves in the world are mice. So with that in mind, I would like to do a pantomime of a little mouse stealing some cheese. the Freeloader with Raymond Burr and Barbara Anderson in Freddy's Desperate Hour.
Dean Martin should be around because there's a little nip in the air. I hadn't noticed. Oh? Are you a little chilly? Why don't you come inside where it's warm? Don't you give me any of your hospitality. I'll stay where I want to stay and do what I want to do. Oh, okay. Then stay out here. Sure, and let me freeze. Oh, that's what I hate about people. They don't care about you. They don't want to know your problems. Oh, you in some kind of trouble? None of your business. Want you come inside? Sure, why not? No! No! No radio. No radio here, outside. Get going, will you? You've been out for years. I like it quiet. Oh, well, around here it'll be like solitary. <laughs> Don't ever say that word again. Not as long as I live. Hey, you, you must be kind of hungry. Would you like to dine? Sit down over there. Would you like to dine inside or outside? Which is this? <laughs> well, I don't know what it says at, but it's a goodie. <laughs> here, sit down. I'll mix you a little salad here. I'll mix you a little salad there. Right there, sit right down. <laughs> You like this? I put oregano on it. Yeah. I used to use that tenderizer stuff on all the stuff I used, but I overdid it one night and my friend's tongue dissolved. <laughs> here, here we got it. Here, here now. We... Sorry, can I get you something? It's all here. Uh, oh, good. Look, you got the you got the big heads of lettuce there. Get away from me. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you should like it here. You'll be nice and comfortable, you know. Here you can rest. You can rest. In the city at this time of the year, it's like a prison. Don't ever say that word again. Rest? City? Uh, you try to kiss me and I'll slap you. <laughs> I said don't ever say that. Say what word? Prison. Don't you... <laughs> that must be my girlfriend. Scratches at the door? She's a cat burglar. Oh. Welcome to our abode, Tom. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have a very big house. Don't ever say that word again. No, I won't. They're coming from all over. Have you got the stuff? At least you were asked. It's all here. You bet it is. Are we talking about the same thing? You bet we ain't. Oh, everything's in the bag, huh? Wait. Listen, I've been away for a long time, on a long trip. I've missed companionship. I've missed love and warmth. I don't know how to tell you this, but there are one too many people in this room. <laughs> okay, how we get rid of the girl? <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you mean. Hey. Well, let's never leave. 45 automatic. 45 automatic? A long handled knife. A long handled knife? A submachine gun. Submachine gun? And a liverwurst sandwich. What's she doing with a liverwurst sandwich? I couldn't get egg salad. <laughs> In trouble carrying firearms. He's on to us. All right. The masquerade is over. You might as well know it. I'm Rick Santee, killer, kidnapper, and cop hater. I'm Freddy the Free Roller, bewitched, bothered, and leaving the back door. Stop! Now you just sit down over here. We'll wait until dark. Tomorrow we move into town and take.
take care of those certain parties. To take care of parties, they don't sound like caterers. I've got to stop them. I've got to stop them. Say, this is a big day for me. Would you folks mind if I took a little snapshot of you here? Hmm? Yeah, there. There we are. Now stand right there where you are, will you? Right there, and boom! <laughs> Oh, it's not really a net. I'm in mourning. <laughs> a net that's hanging around your shoulder. Are you trying to pull something? No, I did, but it went the wrong direction. <laughs> that's my lobster net, my lobster net. When a lobster comes in here, I drop the net on him. Oh, no lobster ever came in here. Well, that's because they've heard of my net. All right, my friend. You've been asking for this. You better not try it. I got a hostage in here. Yeah, and he'll kill her. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. You just let him try. No, please don't let him try. This is my shack. This is the only place I got to, to live. Uh, oh, I can't do it to him. I can't do it to him. He's the first decent man I've ever known. He's the first man that's shown me any kindness. You're very kind. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not after all I've done to get you out of prison. We're going, and we're taking him with us. Nah, that gun ain't gonna use you any good, that pea shooter. I got all the BBs right there. Yeah. Yeah. Stand back! I ain't gonna help you at all. I got that there, too. <laughs> Stand back! You haven't got a chance. I've even got the place. <laughs> okay, Chief, you can come in now. <laughs> You get over there. Freddy, I'm proud of you. You good. helped us capture two dangerous criminals. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I heard them plan that they were going to hurt a lot of other people, so I decided it's about time to do something and call for action. They're escaping! No, no, they're not either. They're not going to get away at all. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? <laughs> A lobster. What are you doing here? What happened to my net? <laughs> And now, a silent spot. Red Skelton and Jerry Lewis in The Magic Act.
Just step out of character for a moment. <laughs> Due to a coronary arrest. <laughs> I feel that I would be remiss if I allowed this to be any normal television guest appearance sketch where a guest comes on a show and they perform and they exit and they're thanked by the host. This is an exceptionally unique and exceptional performance in that I have been referred to by many as a clown. And I guess this is the first time in my life that one of my dreams have come true, and that was to work with the clown mastery of the master. And I know that he's embarrassed, but that's what he is. So I leave the stage for him. guest star, Mr. Mike Connors. Really good to be here. They like you. They like you. Well, thank yeah. you. You know, you must have learned a lot about being a detective from playing Mannix. Yeah, well, I Maybe you could teach me some of those tricks about being a detective. Well, sure. It'd be my pleasure, Would Red. you? Yeah, you see, the first thing you should know, I would say, is frisking. Frisking? Yeah. Oh. You see, suppose you grab a murder suspect. Well, the first thing you've got to find out is whether he's armed. Oh. So to make sure he's not armed, you've got to frisk him. Now, if you'll just raise your arms, I'll show you how it's done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just killed my bird. <laughs> Now, 
rather important part of a detective's job is the stakeout. The stakeout? Yeah. Now, that's where you keep a suspect under 24 hours surveillance. Ah. They say from a building uh, across the way. Come over here and, and let me show you how that is. All right. Oh, by the way, Red, you know, every private eye has got to have a, a raincoat, oh, a trench rain coat. A trench coat? Yeah, Oops, Fine, that'll there. go with my mouth. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Just step over here and take these binoculars. Take the what? Uh, binoculars. <laughs> Just uh, binoculars. And he's a straight man. He's a straight man. Binoculars. That's like a guy saying, look at that old dog wagger over there. Meaning dowager. <laughs> I should have left you alone with your binoculars. Yeah, yeah. Now, what do I do? Now, just look at the suspect across the building, right oh, over there. Right over yeah. there, huh? Now, what's, oh, the, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, she's now putting on the lights in the living room and walking to the bedroom. Yeah? Oh, how about that? Mmm, that's something. If he could just move the cards a little faster. <laughs> uh, there we go. What's going on there? <laughs> You think this is easy? These things are set for way off, and he's up close, and everything's blurred. <laughs> What's she doing now? Oh, now, oh, she's in the other room. She's putting on the lights. Oh, it's getting soft and fluffy in there. Yeah. Oh, she is now putting on <laughs> her <laughs> nightgown. Let me take a look at that. A thing. nightgown. I'll just take over here. Yeah, how yeah. about that, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah she's undressing. That's yeah, she's fine. getting into a flimsy negligee. Flimsy. She's crawling into bed. Now she's turning on the light, off the lights. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's see all that? she's pulling down the shades. Well, yeah. now let's see what the suspect is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Not too careful. If you care for any of these things, just write in. We'll send them to you. <laughs> hey, well, that's easy. That's easy to handle. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> Now, now, I think I'm ready to catch my first criminal. Well, I'd, I'd like to, uh, I'd, I like your enthusiasm, Red. So, uh, you know, the job of a, of a private eye isn't all just chasing criminals. Oh? Yeah, sometimes a private eye has to protect a criminal. Protect him? Yeah, like the day before he goes to testify before the grand jury. Oh, oh, I could do that with my eyes closed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. No, I... <laughs> Relax, will you? Look, I'll be right down the hall. Yeah. And that private eye you hired to protect you will be right over. Yeah, sure. Come in. Come in. There's got to be somebody there. I wasn't through knocking. <laughs> what kind of fool am I? Who's That's what kind of fool I am. Boy, 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 oh boy. Good heaven! Yeah. Christ, my dialing finger there. Are you the... Are you the private eye who's gonna protect my life? And don't you forget it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is the last time I hire a private detective during a total eclipse. Oh? You sure you're a private eye? I certainly am. I studied from the correspondent school. Yes, I started at a, at a correspondent school. Yeah. Yeah, down yeah. on the farm, and I'm ready now. I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, brother. We're related? <laughs> now, I learned a lot in that school. First of all, one thing that I learned, three ways to stay alive. First is to keep away from the window. That's number one. Number two, don't ever admit anybody into the room when you're alone. <laughs> now listen, I, I'm telling you for the last time, I, I don't want any more of this. You know? nope. Did I hear somebody knock? I yes, I heard somebody knock. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it if you don't mind here. Boom. I think I ought a frisker. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Thank you came that. up here. How'd you know that was going to happen? <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Oh, do hurt the watch? I hope Agnew can swim. <laughs> He's still ticking. Yes, he is. You know what happened? Pardon me, miss. <laughs> Fella. Aren't you? 
You know, he, he was playing golf, and he hit a guy with a golf ball. And then he was playing tennis, and he hit dinosaur right in the mouth with a tennis ball. I'm canceling my hunting trip with him. <laughs> Listen, now, well, what's the matter here? She's just a chambermaid. Why, why don't you leave her alone? Let I her think go. we ought to frisk her. She may be hiding something. Oh, now you can see. She's not hiding a thing. Thing. <laughs> Anything. She's not hiding anything. Nothing. I don't look that direction because we go through Pasadena, you know. <laughs> I still think I ought to frisk her. I don't think you better. <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> I, I frisked her in the last 17 years here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You have nothing to worry about. You're in good hands with all things. <laughs> now, I'm a private eye. Well, your other eye doesn't look too private. It's a good thing I'm a lip reader. I'd have never heard what she did. <laughs> I tell you, you're, I don't know. Somebody's at the door. Step back. Let me see. <laughs> I'm the hotel manager. Will you hold down the noise? Do what? Hold down the noise. Okay, so don't hold down the noise. How do you like that, phony? Who was he? I don't know. He said he was the hotel manager, but we will find out. Hello, operator. <laughs> Say, I would like to speak to the manager. He's on his way up here? Yeah? What did he look like? Yes, tell him Well, you get out of here early tonight. You'll only have to wash your face now. <laughs> what did he look like? Blue suit, blue tie, blue cufflink, blue socks. Am I blue? <laughs> and blue lips. Hey, if I wish you'd come up here, there's something cluttering up the hall. I think he came to life again. Do, what's this? Can Don't I, tell me! <laughs> watch me. I'll use the old karate on this guy. Here you go. All right, got you, you miserable little creep. You oh, that stuff with me, boy. There you are. Here, take a hold. Make a wish. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those are my pants, my suit. I wanted these to be nice for the trial. Really? Well, you better get them pressed. <laughs> Here, would you bring me back in a half hour, sir? <laughs> there you are. Now, we're all set. Don't tell me. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. There's somebody at the door. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Production number, folks. Take you across the street now to the courthouse. Good. I'll get your jacket for you. Good. Let's just get out of this place before I get hurt or something. Oh, what a nut. Knocks me over the place, messes up my whole oh, we are. <laughs> oh,
Well, now, where did he go? Uh, but, oh, he's laying down there on the curb. Now you're really going to get in trouble. That's a no parking zone. <laughs> Here, you better put a nickel in the meter. <laughs> now, a silent spot. Red Skelton in Keep Romance Alive.
George Goebel and Ludwig von Humperdu in Humperdu's Magic Tire. Treadwell, I'm not going to put Ludwig von Humperdu out of business. I'm going to kill that cuckoo inventor. <laughs> I heard the phone ring again there. Hello. Well, hello, hello. I'm glad to hear from you. Oh, I've been waiting for a long time. My dearest best friend, who is this? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm kind of excited about my new invention. It's the automobile tire that will not blow out. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'll see you later, yes. Ah, uh, there's a great invention. One of the greatest inventions that ever was. And when you take in consideration, it ain't even hooked up. That's pretty good. <laughs> Did I hear the doorbell ring? Oh, I heard somebody knock. <laughs> that means there must be somebody at the door. Somebody's at the door. <laughs> no, I'm wrong again. <laughs> I'm looking for a Professor Humperdew. Could have voices there. Ooh. Well, why don't you come up here? You're not going to find me down there, that's for sure. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, if you were any kind of a sport at all, you would let me kill you. I better stick a candle in my ear. I tell you, I, I just can't, uh, I, I can see what you're saying then. <laughs> yes, yes, no, what is it again? Little does he know his blowout proof tire could put me out of business. Little does he know that that plot's been set up three times already. <laughs> Not to change the subject, but what makes your tire puncher-proof? Because it's solid cement, it will give you lifetime wear. Look. Lifetime wear is cement. It gives you security. It gives you safety. It gives you a hernia. <laughs> you know, I want to tell you something. What's that? For a moron, you're not too bright. <laughs> now, how can you use a cement tire on a cement highway? That is a very good question, yes. For a little fella like you, that is a wonderful question. I'll tell you what I have invented to go with the cement tire. I have invented... a rubber road. <laughs> you have invented... a rubber road? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I'll go get one for you. The... Ah. Ah. Uh. <coughs> Here. If this gets on the market, I'll be on welfare. Like everybody else in California. <laughs> including the governor. <laughs> no, I must knock Humperdo off immediately. I've got a surprise for you. You yeah? have? I want you to close your eyes and count to ten. Well, if I close my eyes, how am I going to count to ten? I won't be able to see my fingers. <laughs> You know, if you took that candle out of your ear, maybe you'd be able to see something. That's what the trouble is. I can't hear. I got too much wax in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'll count. All right. Eins, drei, vier. Heinz, dry, drip, dry. Here comes something right in the eye. Right here. Never fear. Soon he will be gone from here. Ludwig. Yes. Come over here. What are some of your great poems? I haven't heard any great poems lately just from you. Right here. There you are. Hey, oh, sorry, I just kicked the bucket. <laughs> what were you going to say, by the way? I say, by the way, have you been running? You smell tired. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> just sit there on the car. Just read them. Will just you sit down. How do you like that? Oh, that's refreshing. I, oh, 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 I haven't had so much fun since I drooled on my electric blanket. <laughs> Polluted swordfish. <laughs> I have failed again. What kind of shorts are you wearing? I'm not wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm wearing rubber, rubber panty socks. <laughs> No, not sure. No. I must find some other way to knock him off. Take good care of yourself. I'll be right back to kill you. 
that guy's nuts. <laughs> well, well, just as I suspected, I... He's a nice fella. I better get back to my work, though. Oh, them help you get nowadays. I've had this one maid here for three years, and she just found out yesterday there's an upstairs to the place. <laughs> She's up those stairs with me to fall down every Saturday night. There you go. Here we go, there we are, now we're right on the old table. There. <laughs> I had just invented something else, a broken table. Ah. Now well, let's sell it to somebody with a broken English. <laughs> I am General Hansel von Gödel Mönnhausen, Ganesh Vich Studehausen, Mönnhausen, Sergeant Junior, of the German secret police. Ah, you can say that, who you are. That's easy for you. It's not so easy for me, even. <laughs> You look kind of familiar, except for your clothes, your mustache, and, uh, <clears throat> don't like to say anything, but what have you been thinking about? Your head's gone to a point. <laughs> I'll get to this ding -ling through his loved ones. You got the worst prop men on this show. <laughs> ah, I see that you have got relatives in Burbank. <laughs> Yes, I have relatives in Burbank. Would you like to see them dead? In Burbank, it's pretty hard to tell. <laughs> I could have sworn that one would have worked. Well, I guess I'll have to bring in my hidden weapons. I like the way he reads lines. It means that we may all graduate this year. <laughs> Question. Even with the big coat on, I know that's her. <laughs> now I know why the head's going to a point. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Hello. Hello, Dolly. Hmm. I am Gretchen. Well, a little shot of penicillin will clear that up and no. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little Gretchen myself. I had sauerkraut and lobster for lunch. Gretchen, don't waste time. Attack, attack. Attack? Wait a minute, now, now Gretchen. Oh, kiss me, my little mm, apple strudel, my potato but, dumpling. Yeah, but... Oh, my everything. Mm. Boy, I tell you, you listen to a girl like this, you could put on weight. <laughs> Why don't you take it a little easy there, Furline? I said it again, fur, Furline. <laughs> this must be the rubber. It smells like rubber. <laughs> and you know what? It looks like rubber. A little loose rubber, but it looks like rubber. <laughs> Tastes like rubber. He'll be rubbed out with his own invention. Cocktail time! Come on, get it! What do you mean, come and get it? I'm doing pretty good over here. <laughs> now, then. Just a moment. Oh, look, you know what I want you should do? What's that? I want to wipe that lipstick over your mouth, you oh. little devil, you. You little rascal, you. Let me wipe the, the rubber off of your lips. <laughs> well, how about that, huh? <laughs> Besides being a little shaver, you're also a little quick shaver. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not that rotten little German General von Watzis name, Junior. You're that rotten little Tom Treadville, the blowout patch king. <laughs> well, you're not going to get away with this. The time has come. The time has come to put a stop to people like you go around frightening everybody else. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will not. It will not happen. <laughs> Let's see anything up for the Academy beat that. <laughs> You win, Humperdew. We shall drink your cement tire and your rubber road. Rubber road. Ah, oh, there we are. Little snops there. We will lo lock our arms together like we did in the old country. When Mama wasn't looking. I'll be yours, eh? I'll be yours, eh? That's German for forest lawn. <laughs> as soon as you drink your stein. Yeah, but which is my stein? The one in your hand. Which is my hand? Um. The one that's holding your stein. <laughs> now, you want to try it one more time? <laughs> Wait, now, this one is mine. Here, over here. That one's mine now. No, let me taste this one. Listen, wait a minute. I'm sure that one's mine. Almost positive about it. Uh, did you try? Uh, maybe mine was... Uh, I think... It's... You know what? Well, there they are. It was all together. I don't know how to tell you this, but you know what? We all drank rubber. You drank rubber? Rubber? Well, how about that? Well, at least my uh, kidneys won't get wet, will they? 
come on, Gretchen. Let's get out of here. I want to tell you, I've had a ball. Yes, I bet you have. <laughs> I'd like to correct that. I am a ball. Now, that's pretty ridiculous. Two grown-up people sing it and they're a ball. How could you drink bubble like that and it affect your body? Well, I gotta get some work done around here. What is this? <laughs> Here he is again, Red Skelton. I would like to thank our sponsors and our staff, and especially you, ladies and gentlemen, for allowing me to be a part of your evening. So until next week, I'll say good health, good luck, and may God bless. Good night. Thank you.